Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the upcoming Grosser Kerfer's replacement, uh, the new Tech Tree Tier 10 German battleship, the Preuße. This is a game that I played on stream uh, the other day. Um, I think it's a pretty good showcase of the ship. Um, as we're getting ready for the game to start, let me just go over real quickly what the Preussen is. It's basically a copy-paste of the Kerr First Hull, uh, with the exception of uh, better rear firing angles, and the biggest change of uh, 457 millimeter guns, eight 457 millimeter guns instead of the 12, 406, or 420 millimeter guns of the Kerr First. Uh, what does this mean? Well, the Preussen can overmatch 30 millimeters of armor. The Kerr First cannot. The Preussen also has a very, very fast reload with uh, reload mod. If I can hover over it, it's 21.1 seconds with reload mod without any adrenaline rush. Uh, this is pretty much a full gun, uh, full gun tank spec uh, build that I have running, which I believe is the best way to play Preussen. Uh, I don't think, honestly, any battleship is worth secondary specking uh, other than the German battlecruiser line. Uh, it's got your German Hydro, 6 kilometers. Uh, I, I guess the only thing on this build that I don't have, uh, th that's not standard, is the secondary range, which I eventually took off because I didn't think it was worth it. Um, I didn't get very much use out of the secondaries uh, if they were not... Uh, if they were not manual secondaries. But this ship is all about the guns, honestly. It's all about the guns. The accuracy on the guns is actually pretty decent. Uh, a lot of people don't know that a long time ago, I, I'd say at least a few years ago, German battleship dispersion uh, was basically made equal to USN uh, battleship dispersion. There, there's kind of this, this long-running meme about German battleship dispersion being bad, when the reason why I think a lot of people think that is they just go secondary spec on their battleships, their German battleships, um, where if you just go full gun spec, the dispersion is actually pretty good. And even if you don't get good dispersion a lot of the time, the fact that your reload is so fast means that it doesn't really matter. Broadside Zeton, get a nice little citadel on him. Um, I mean, look, you see how fast the re the reload is. the The best comparison I can say uh, about the Preussen, like the, the closest ship I can compare it to, is the Repub. Uh, it's the the reload is very similar. The gun count is the same, and the Repub has slightly better... I unfortunately take a Torp here. Forgive me for white lining, like a scumbag. It is what it is. Uh, there's Shima Torps. There's a hundred ships shooting at me, or there were. Uh, I kind of just wanted to get off of... Like, out of this area, and not be tucked up on an island with a Shima in my, in my face. And I'm actually kind of thankful that, uh, that they smoked me here. Um, I don't think that was an ironic well done. Or maybe it was. I can't really remember. Anyways, the best comparison I, can, I have to this ship is, like I was saying, basically a repub with a Kerr first hull. Uh, with better rear firing angles. Which is, one of my biggest complaints about the Kerr first is the really bad firing angles. Your front forward angles are still bad. Um, which is kind of dumb in my opinion for a ship that's meant to push. It has better rear firing angles than uh, front firing angles, but whatever. It is what it is. 
So we got our back turrets off on the Zeton, front turrets off on the mines. I think this is actually an underwhelming salvo on the mines, yeah. But I can maybe get like a citadel there, but we are a ship down. They have two caps, although we're stalling one. Um, I'm not in the greatest position right now. I, I definitely want to get closer. Um, and start putting some 457 millimeter German uh, AP down range. We just lost another ship. Uh, I'm currently concerned that my Haragumo is going to get torped out here. Uh, I don't remember if he does or not. Damage is okay, I guess. It's like a little over five minutes in. I have 45k. I mean, could be a lot better for sure. I haven't. There hasn't been a ton of spotting. Torpedos of Steuerbord. Torpedos direct voraus. But uh, I guess well during this lull in the action, I can give sort of my my thoughts on this ship, and I think it's really good. I. Uh, this is this is the German battleship that people have been waiting for for a long time, I think. I mean, I guess you could argue that the Schlieffen is what people have been waiting for for a long time, since that's all about the secondaries. But if you wanted to go, like, if you want an actual battleship, like not the you know sort of battle cruiser type thing with the torpedoes and the crazy secondaries, uh, this thing is a beast. Like this is just a, this is a, a standard battleship with big guns that overmatch thirty millimeters, which means you're gonna make cruisers cry. Another big hit on that Zeton, uh, and it's it's really strong. I mean the the reload that you can get on it with just a little bit of AR, like sub twenty seconds on four fifty sevens, is pretty nuts. It's pretty nuts. Uh, the Shells are also have a similar, a sl even a slightly faster uh, flight time compared to the Repub, which has some of the fastest uh, battleship shells in the game. I was shooting at this chop I have on the border was getting me a little bit frustrated. I thought that he should have been punished a little bit harder. Um, but this is what I was waiting for. I saw the Shema moved from C to B. Which means I basically have a uh, free run into this cap to hopefully kill, well, everything. Because we kind of need to right now. We're down three ships to one. Um, we're going to get triple capped. Although I am going to be able to stall this. Uh, but this game is going to require a little bit of carrying. To see the torps out. But see, I the Shimmit isn't... Well, okay, he was fairly briefly in the second secondary range. You'll see really quickly here why I don't think a uh, secondary build on the ship is worth it. Or at least the three-point skill. I'll show you my build after of what I ended up running. But even the, the three-point range skill, I don't think is worth it. And if you want to go full tank, then you can't really tank uh, manual... You can't really take manual secondaries. So I just, I just forego all the secondary skills. It looks like the DDs in there are... The red DDs are dying. It looks like we kill... Yeah, we kill the Shema. We might kill the Fantasque, which is really good. I'm able to dodge these Torbs. I was a little frustrated with that salvo again. I mean, the, the Dispersion does let you down from time to time. For sure. It, it's only eight guns. The Sigma's not incredible. But it's not the worst. And the guns just reload so fast that it doesn't really matter that much. Also, even the Chapayev, he's setting me on fire right now, but he's not do he's basically doing no HE alpha to me because of how armored my my ship is. See, there's the big hit that we were looking for. So see. Not the worst accuracy in the world by any by any stretch. Um I really need to get this guy out so he can stop setting me on fire. I think I do here. Oh, no, the, the lion does, okay. So, here's the secondary issue. Keep in mind, I'm at, uh, okay, I'm at 25k, and this Iowa's at 65k. Granted, I do have a heal coming up in a few seconds, but 
This is this is not looking good for me. I throw 10k into him right there. Um, like here's where I thought my secondaries would actually be melting him, and that I would have a tremendous advantage just based on my secondaries. Um, but without the without the manual secondary skill, it's just they just don't do a whole lot. They just don't do a whole lot. Of course, his secondary set me on fire, interestingly enough. We see our damage is steadily going up. Uh, our potential damage is over 2 million. And the game looks like a complete loss right now. We're even on ships, but we're down in HP. We're heavily down in points. Uh, I need to kill this guy fast, and I need to cut back in towards the middle of the map and kill more stuff. Or hope my team can pull it out. But as, as you can see, like the, the rear turret angles, I can get all my guns to bear at this angle, which is very good compared to the Kerfirst. The Kerfirst has very bad rear firing angles in addition to its bad front firing angles. So you would never be able to do this in a Kerfirst. But you still do eat a lot of AP pens. That's that's one thing that does not change between the Preussen and the Kerfirst, is you just eat a lot of full pens from Battleship AP in particular. That's the that's the big weakness of the hull. You don't get Citadel, you are pretty resilient to HE spam, but you do eat a lot of battleship AP, even if you're angled. We get uh, another heal off. We only have one more after this. But we do kill him. I mean, we just have a, a much better fire rate than he is. Better than, than the Iowa does. And there we go. So we finish him off. We're at 185k. We actually have a two ship advantage now. So the game was looking a lot more winnable than it was just a few moments ago, but there still looks like to be a full HP Thunderer, a relatively healthy Bismarck, and a repo that's low, but he's kiting away. Also, I don't know what the HP is on the Zhao or the Kitakaze. Although the Thunder is in a pretty bad spot. I thought I was going to get a good salvo on this. I don't remember if I do or not. I thought this could have been Citadel. I mean, that's really good dispersion. Six, six out of eight shells at 20 kilometers on a German BB, guys. Imagine. On a German BB. No Citadels, unfortunately, but still a pretty solid salvo. I was pretty happy with that one. So, we're almost at 200k. There's still about 140k left, although... Will I get into position fast enough to get that, uh, it's going to be tough. Um, unfortunately, that Iowa just sitting on that island, it took me quite a long time to kill him because uh, he was essentially bowing to me, but we had to kill him. And we did, so... We were sort of just hoping that our team would... Uh, would hold it down in the middle, and they seem to be doing a quite a good job. Oh, yeah, the Haragumo actually torps out the Thunder, which is huge. So I think at this point, it's basically GG uh, in our favor. Uh, the only thing that can really kill me at this point um, is this full HP Zhao um, setting me on permafires. Um, he's far enough away that it's going to be hard for me to land too many salvos on him, especially since he's kiting. Uh, I only have one heal left, so, you know, right here I'm just kind of thinking I don't want to die to the Zhao. Um, but he's the only thing in range, uh, for me right now, so it's, I, I don't really have much of a choice, but either to stay dark or try to shoot him, although I did pop my spotter plane. Uh, Brindisi is very agile, so I should have anticipated that he would do a full turnout, although he just lost almost all of his HP because he showed broadside to a bunch of other battleships. Um, and now the Zal starts to farm me. 
Well, let's see how much actual HE damage it does. So, a 5k salvo, it was all in, in the superstructure. Um, surprised I'm not fully saturated there by now. And he does set the instant fire, so I use my, I use my last heal. But I can basically go dark at any time, unless the Kitakaze comes. And keep in mind, the 30mm overmatch, really important here against the Zhao. If I was in a Kerr first, um, if he angles properly, I'm not going to do that much damage to him. But I basically hit anywhere on his ship with the Proisen, and it's going to be some form of penetration, whether it's... Pens or overpens, or hopefully Citadel. Uh, he can't angle to me in any way. Which I don't want to get too into my feelings on uh, the proliferation of 30mm overmatch battleships, but I don't think it's really good for the game. I don't think. I mean, don't get me wrong. This ship is a huge improvement over the GK. This is a very, very good battleship. Especially for randoms. For competitive, eh, not really. It's still a GK hull. But for randoms, what's my re my 17.6 reload with this AR? I mean, that's faster than some cruisers. Like, like I think that's faster than Goliath-based DPM. Unfortunately, we got only a torpedo belt hit there. But we're up over 215k. Um... I think that our DCP was still up there. Hoping you just get a fire there. We're chilling. And yeah, just a, a solid win. I gotta say, my team played very well. Um, it was looking pretty bad there for a while, but we ended up pulling this one off. I think I get a nice cheeky shot here on this uh, on this Zhao. I was getting like one to two hits on him. Sometimes a pen, sometimes over pens. I also know that the Kitakaze is in front of me right now. Uh, he's what's keeping me hard lit. And I'm just waiting for the Zhao to pop up. But uh, what I was saying is uh, I don't like all these battleships that are being introduced that have 30mm overmatch. Um, it kind of makes me wonder what even, what, what even is the point of 30mm armor on cruisers if like almost every tech tree... Uh, battleship uh, at tier 10 has them now. Um, not just tech tree, but it just seems like more more battleships have 30 millimeter overmatch now than than don't at tier 10. So it, it makes me wonder how important 30 millimeter overmatch is, or sorry, how how important 30 millimeter armor is. See this. I mean, the Zhao's dancing at 19 kilometers, and we get a we get a spicy little hit in. We get a spicy little hit in. Just wait for it. It might be on this salvo. I'm not sure. There it is. There it is. I mean, was that luck? Eh, kind of. But we were hitting him. Like we were hitting at least probably two shells per salvo close to max range on, on, on a Zhao that's actively dodging. Uh, I think that's where we end. Uh, our damage is at 236k. Uh, I don't remember if I get any more. Oh, the Zhao's dead. And I think the Kidda dies shortly thereafter. But while this game's wrapping up, uh, I mean, I can... I, I basically said my opinion on, on the ship thus far is it's really, really good. I've seen a lot of people saying that it's really that it's not good. People that have tested it saying that it's not good, that the guns can't hit anything. That just hasn't been my experience with this ship. The guns are pretty reliable. Sure, you get trolled once in a while, but what battleship doesn't get trolled uh, by dispersion once in a while? Um, just the fact that you have eight guns means that it's going to happen more than maybe uh, you know a Montana or something. Um, but. The combination of a really fast reload, uh, a very tanky hull, in some ways it's tanky, in some ways it's not, hydro, 30 millimeter overmatch, uh, it all just comes together, and then probably most importantly, or one of the most important things over the curve first, is the improved uh, rear firing angles. 
just to me, it's a it's a really strong it's a really strong battleship. If I had to place it in my tier list, my battleship tier list, I'd honestly probably put it in A tier. Uh, I think the Kitakaze just lets the time run out here, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, not bad. Only four citadels, but 236k. Um, I ended up, I think, only doing 17k in secondary, so it was almost fully uh, main gun damage. And give me one sec, and I'll show you uh, the build that I run. Okay, so here is the current build that I am using and I am enjoying very much. I think this is probably the best build that I've found for the ship so far. Um, expert loader, because honestly, I don't use HE very much in the ship at all. But if there are, you know, Bowen battleships, um, you can switch to HE. You've got really good pen on the HE because of the uh, improved German pen. Or if, uh, you know, you're rushing a, a destroyer's smoke with your hydro. Um, I also think that this is important because for some reason the guns seem very squishy. Uh, I actually got a gun per mud uh, at one point, which was surprising to me. So I'm running this as well. Uh, brisk because going 34 and a half, almost 35 knots in a Kerr first hull is ridiculous. Um, this is a broken skill. You can't convince me otherwise. The This is uh, Franz von Jutland, by the way. Uh, I have Lutjens on the Schlieffen, where I think he's better. Uh, you get I, I take the Vigilance. He gives an extra 10%, so 35% torpedo acquisition range, which combined with the Hydro is pretty crazy. Uh, and then 7% torpedo damage reduction. That's basically the your main enemy is uh, torpedoes. Adrenaline Rush, obviously, and then just the standard BB tank skills. In terms of modules, pretty standard. Uh, main Armaments Mod 1, because, uh, as I said, your guns get broken. Um, if I had an extra Hydro, you definitely go with this. Otherwise, Damage Control Mod 1. Dispersion, because... I'm going to be honest. I don't think there's a single battleship in the game worth secondary specking right now that isn't the Schlieffen class. I just don't. But yeah, I mean, even though it's a German battleship, other than Schlieffen these days, I, I just don't think that there's any battleships other than Schlieffen and that line that's worth secondary specking because you're just going to lose secondary fights to them. Even a, a Preussen or a GK full secondary spec is going to lose a secondary fight to a Schlieffen. So take advantage of what the Preussen does best, which is eight 457s that fire really, really fast. That have just insane AP DPM. I mean, that's that, that's your uh, main advantage over other ships in the game. And you can rack up some, some big damage and big game impact using those guns. Uh, prop mod, because prop mod is the best. Concealment, obvious, and gun reload. Again, pretty obvious. Well, that's uh, that's pretty much all I've got. I mean, like I said before, uh, unfortunately I put out my Battleship tier list uh, before Preussen was released, so I wasn't able to put it in there. Um, GK, I think, is was the only C-tier Battleship, but Preussen... I would put it in A tier. I think this is a really strong ship. Um, the only advice I have is uh, don't fall into the secondary trap. Just, you know, if you if you want to play the Preussen, if you want to get the most out of the Preussen, just full gun build, full gun tank build, and you should be able to get some good results. So, hope you enjoyed the review, and uh, hope you all have a good one. Take it easy. Cheers.